of being snow we saw, but not so much. We've already shown you that it's not fair to call this storm a dud, but it still left a lot of people upset. So upset that they had to turn their lives upside down over a few inches of snow. Well, Pix 11's Jay Dow is back with us tonight to talk about that frustration and also an apology from a top forecaster. Hi there, Jay. Hi, Tamsin. Is it better to be safe than sorry? The answer depends on who you ask. And we asked a very interested business owner today. He's not liking what he's hearing from state officials and us. Monday night's rough storm failed to morph into a monstrous blizzard. But if you subscribe to the school of thought that says we dodged a bullet, then you should also know there are plenty of entrepreneurs in our area, including Dominic Renato, who feel like their business was stabbed in the back. Have you been able to attach a dollar figure to how much you lost over the last 24 hours? Um, I, I would say about a, half the business. Dominic's family has owned and operated Sal's Pizza on Bergen Line Avenue in West New York, New Jersey, for more than 40 years. As a business owner, mm -hmm. How do you feel about what you saw go down on television last night on all the news channels? Uh, very disappointed. In what sense? Well, I, I mean, you have one job to do is predict the weather. All day Monday, he watched PIX11 and other news and weather forecasts. Dominic also listened to the warnings from New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Here's one thing we know for sure. Starting later this afternoon, you should stay home if you can. You should only go out in the case of an absolute emergency or necessity. We would like to make Wednesday productive for everybody. Uh, and the only way for us to make Wednesday productive is for you to give us the opportunity to do our job on Tuesday. We now know the weather forecasts were wrong, really wrong. So wrong, in fact, that the chief of the National Weather Service's Philadelphia office tweeted an apology. The post reads, quote, my deepest apologies to many key decision makers and so many members of the general public. You made a lot of tough decisions expecting us to get it right, and we didn't. Once again, I'm sorry. The prevailing opinion, though, crafted through the pristine lens of hindsight, now says it was better to be safe than sorry. A state of emergency, police enforced curfews, closed bridges and tunnels all contributed to fewer accidents and a faster cleanup. But for Dominic and so many other business owners, the damage was already done. You know, and this is a big week, it's Super Bowl Sunday coming up. So it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be rough the next few days. My business goes by the hour, not by the day. So you know, every hour counts, every minute counts. Time is money. Time is money. And you lost a lot of it. Yes. The good news is you see the blacktop, and when we say us, we mean the collective us. Channels 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, and 11, all of the cable networks, everyone was watching, all of us. And the people who we spoke with today say they were listening and watching and reading on their phones. And some people who run businesses obviously were not happy with what they saw. We do need to take the time to thank WPIX Chief Photographer, Photographer Tom Cassidy, Truck Engineer Rudy Bishanti, and all the rest of the engineers who were outside and indoors bringing you the signals. Everyone may not have liked what they heard, but without these guys, it wouldn't have been possible. We're live in West New York tonight. Jay Dow, PIX11 News. Certainly our thanks to all of you, Jay. Uh, last night, you know, just going back through and looking at the video of you guys and what you and TC were dealing with last night is just incredible to watch. I mean, you really took a beating out there in, hmm. the, in the raw, raw elements. You miss it, don't you, yeah, Jay? Gotta, Jay, you, you wish you were there right truck. now, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> John, every time that we finished the live truck, you know, I got to take a break inside the truck. But when Don, when Tom Wisnowski, the director, was calling for a shot for the beach, it was TC who was standing out here. It was Rudy who was sure. making sure that the truck was working. You know, the engineers out here, they, they spent the most time out in the elements. And especially when it was coming down the hardest, that's when it hurt the most. I know it is. Rudy and TC, thank you guys. Jay, thank you.